So this is the last project, actually, to get uh, signed off here. And tell us who you are and what you've built. Uh, my name is Tom Shaw, and I've built the uh, Brooklyn 291 to Danhouse Vocal. Oh, you just built one, right? Yeah, yeah just built one. We created one, and we changed these, uh, changed these into just op amps. Okay. Yeah, so I think um, some other folks, I think Mark Verbos has done that. Mm-hmm. And I think also to get it stable, we needed to add a... Was it 200? Uh, yes. It yeah, one of the vectors that drives this bandwidth control here. Um, to get it stable, we played with different resistor values to put in series, because most of the other vectors have something in series, and we found that it, it really need, needed that to stay stable. Oh, well, maybe one day we'll put that back, who knows. But anyway, it's making noise. And um, so normally I've... Uh, and, you know, started these with very simply, but we start pretty complicated, so I'm doing two things. One is the um, bandwidth we're sweeping with a uh, sawtooth wave, which is from uh, OTM 310LFO, so let me sweep that. Interestingly, if I... Um, Put it on a pulse wave control for the bandwidth. It's not sort of an instantaneous change. Let me actually see where did that stick go. Um, the uh, screwdriver we're using to change the pots. Um, it's right behind me. Oh, it's right behind me. Okay, there we go. Um, here we go. It's probably unintentionally funny, but here we go. Let's see. Um, now I'm manually changing the bandwidth control. So what's interesting is when I'm controlling the um, frequency there with the, the center frequency, I guess, with the uh, square wave, you can hear there's kind of a delay where it's, it doesn't instantly switch from one to another. I think that's the various turn-on-off times of the vectoral in effect. Okay. So here I'm changing the frequency. So let's also play with um, sine wave input. Probably crazy. Let me turn the resonance down again. So there's, I guess, less bandwidth or something. So here's a, so here's a more typical synthy sound. I'm sweeping the uh, cutoff here. Now let me change the resonance or bandwidth. So that's kind of fun. Let me now um, unplug the uh, frequency control and sweep that manually. And what I'm going to do is maybe put the resonance in the middle. We sort of have an infinite turn pot here. And let's um, play with controlling the um, bandwidth because we've got a voltage controllable bandwidth. So let's put that, how about in this sawtooth? Oh, so there's the pulse. So there I'm changing the bandwidth. Let me adjust the center frequency while now adjusting the bandwidth at audio rates. Annually adjusting the center frequency. So that's pretty sick. Um, sick meaning good, in this instance. I hear that's what the kids say nowadays. So now what I'm doing is I'm modul- trying to modulate the bandwidth at audio rates of the sine wave. So we have to cut off. So let's go back to... Um, now that's modulating the uh, bandwidth with the sine wave for frequency. Manually sweeping the cutoff. Let's go back to uh, sweeping the cutoff at audio rates.
Oops. So there I'm changing the rate of the cutoff. Now let me uh, use a square wave on the uh, bandwidth. adjusting the uh, frequency with the sawtooth. So now we're um, adjusting them both. Okay, that's just pretty crazy. Um, and uh, I think we'll leave it there. Anything, um, I guess it took us a while to get this going. It's a fairly complicated because there's um, it's kind of a, not a easily breadboard amenable circuit because of the leads of the back trolls. Um, but I guess we got it going. So anything else you wanted to say? Okay, so that's just kind of all kinds of fun. Somebody just put on real high resonance here. So that's cool. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Bye bye.